Hey guys, it's your boy, Peter John. Welcome to the episode 501 of Logo History. Today I'm going to talk about Xerox, Emergency Alert System, Sky Uno and Sky TG24. Xerox and Emergency Alert System were requested by Rob Geo 0407 Lel and Sky Uno and Sky TG24 were requested by Esk in 2013. Check out their channels by clicking on the cards above. I hope you like it. First, I'm gonna talk about Emergency Alert System. It is a national warning system in the United States designed to allow authorized officials to coordinate and disseminate emergency alerts and warning messages to the public via terrestrial and satellite radio and television, including broadcast and multi-channel television. 1951 to 1963, here we have the logo of the first emergency alert system's name, Kenelrid. There is a yellow ring, and inside it there is a blue circle, and inside it there is a white triangle, and inside it there are the letters C and D in red text, and on them there is a red line, and inside it there is the word Canelrid in white text. 1963 to 1976, here we have the logo of the second emergency alert system's name, Emergency Broadcast System. There are three oval shapes, two white and one red, and on them there is the word EBS in black and white text. 1976 to 1997, there is the word EBS in black text. Here is a recording. The following is a test of the emergency broadcast system. This station is testing its emergency broadcast system equipment. The EBS will soon be replaced with the emergency alert system. The EAS will provide timely emergency warnings. This station serves the Des Moines area. This concludes this emergency broadcast system test. 1997 to 2007, they changed its name to Emergency Alert System. There is a blue map of America with black lines on it and with the word EAS in red text on it. Here is a recording. this program to activate the emergency alert system at the request of the National Weather Service. A flash flood warning is in effect through 1230 a.m. for north central Lincoln County and northeastern Albert County. Locations in the warning include but are not limited to Lyman and the town of Agate. 2007 to the present, there are four black rings, and on them there is the word ease in red text, and on the right of it there is a lightning, and under the word ease there are the words emergency alert and system in black text. Here is a recording. This is a test of the emergency alert system. In an emergency, this system would bring you important information. The following tones will conclude this test. This is the Jefferson County Department of Emergency Management conducting a test of the emergency alert system. In the event of an emergency this system would bring you important information. The following tones conclude this test. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Sky TG24. It is Italy's second all-news channel, owned by Sky. Launched on 31 July 2003, it provides non-stop rolling news, weather forecasts and sports stories with half-hourly updates. 2003 to 2010, there is a dark red and red shape, and on the dark red part there is the word sky in yellow text, and on the red part there is the word TG24 in white text. Here is a bumper. Le ultimissime notizie da 2010 to 2016, there is a dark red and red rounded rectangle, and on the dark red part there is the word sky in yellow text, and on the red part there is the word TG24 in white text. Here is the HD version, the app icon and a bumper. Questa è Sky TG24.
2016 to 2018, there is a white and red rounded rectangle, and on the white part there is the word sky in black text, and on the red part there is the word the word TG24 in white text. Here is the HD version and a bumper. twenty eighteen to twenty twenty one the rectangle is less shiny and the font of the word tg twenty four has changed here is the hd version and a bumper twenty twenty one to the present there is the word sky in black text and on the right of it there is a red rounded rectangle and inside it there is the word tg twenty four in white text here is the hd version and a bumper 2020. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Sky Uno. It is an Italian entertainment television channel, based on the defunct reality television channel Sky Vivo, both owned and broadcast by Sky Italia. It broadcasts the Italian version of the shows The X Factor, Got Talent, The Apprentice, MasterChef, MasterChef Junior, Hell's Kitchen and Top Gear. The channel began broadcasts in high definition on October 20, 2011. 2009 to 2010, there is a dark purple rounded rectangle, and inside it there are the words Sky and Uno in white and orange text. Here is a bumper. 2010 to 2011, there is a purple and orange rounded rectangle, and on the purple part there is the word sky in white text, and on the orange part there is the word uno in white text. Here is a bumper. 2011 to 2013, the purple part is now blue. Here is the HD version and a bumper. 2013 to 2015, the blue part is now white, the orange part is now blue, the word sky is now in blue text, and the font of the word uno has changed. Here is the HD version, the time shift version and a bumper. 2015 to 2018, the word sky and the blue part are brighter. Here is the HD version and a bumper. 2018 to 2021, the rectangle is taller, and the font of the word UNO has changed. Here is the HD version, the time shift version and a bumper. 2021 to the present, there is the word sky in blue text, and on the right of it there is a blue rounded rectangle, and inside it there is the word uno in white text. Here is the HD version, the time shift version and a bumper. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Xerox. It is an American corporation that sells print and digital document products and services in more than 160 countries. Xerox is headquartered in Norwalk, Connecticut, though it is incorporated in New York with its largest population of employees based around Rochester, New York, the area in which the company was founded. 1906 to 1938, here we have the logo of the first Xerox's name, Halloid. There is a white torch, and on it there is a white oval shape, and inside it there is the word Halloid in black text. Here is a variant. 1938 to 1948, there is a black shape, and on it there are Tewards fine photographic products the Halloid Co. Rochester and NY in white text, and inside the black shape there is a black rounded rectangle, and inside it there is a white torch, and under it there is the word Halloid in black text on a white outline. 1948 to 1949, here we have the logo of the second Xerox's name, Halloid Xerox. There is a black rounded rectangle, and inside it there is a yellow letter X, and on it there is the word Xerox in white text, and under the rectangle there are the words a trademark of the Halloid and company in black text. 1949 to 1957, there is a black shape, 
And on it there are the words products for xerography the haloid Coarochester and NY in white text, and inside the black shape there is a black rounded rectangle, and inside it there is a red letter X, and on it there is the word Xerox in white text. 1957 to 1960, there is a red shape, and inside it there are the words products for xerography products for, and photography in white text and inside the red shape there is a red rounded rectangle, and inside it there are the words haloid and xerox in white text, and under the red shape there is the word trademark in red text. 1960 to 1968, they changed its name to xerox. There are the words xerox and corporation in black text. Here is a variant in the commercial. When we say the Xerox 914 makes copies on ordinary paper, we mean ordinary paper. For instance, office stationery. Or how about plain bond paper? Now, if that isn't ordinary enough, wait a minute. To prove the point, I'll cut up some brown wrapping paper. How much more ordinary can you get? If seeing is believing, let's actually make copies on our ordinary papers. We'll put them here in the paper loading tray. We push the on button. Let's make a copy of this page from a book. That's right, a page from a book. There goes the stationery, the bond paper, and the wrapping paper. Here comes the stationery and our bond paper and the wrapping paper. Perfect copies, dry copies. It takes an extraordinary machine to make copies on ordinary paper. The Xerox 914. 1968 to 2008, there is the word Xerox in red text. Here is the print version, the version with the slogan and the commercial. The company that revolutionized the office is doing it again. Xerox announces the 50 series, a new generation of copiers that make perfect copies at incredible speeds. They reduce and enlarge without slowing down. They collate your documents without slowing down. And they staple and bind so fast, it's a miracle. The new 50 series copiers from Team Xerox. We document the world. 1994 to 2008, there is a red letter X, and on the top right corner of it it's pixelated. Here is the print version, a variant and a commercial. Gather around and observe the age-old problem of people working the same old way. He's running a marathon between the printer and the copier. Another fact she can't read. Sharing knowledge should be easier. What, what can, can we do? Go, tell them about the Xerox Document Center family. And the free video. Document Centers are network digital copy of printers. Just point and click. And right from your desk, you can print, fax, copy, even collate. Only one trip down the hall. It's all in the video. Document Centers are upgradable, so you can add features. I know. You can easily scan a document, store it, or change it on your computer. And send it anywhere in the world using your network. Or through the internet. How did you know that? I watched the video. Smart people. Curious clothing. For information about Xerox document centers and your free video, call now. 1-800-270-6898. 2008 to 2019, there is the word Xerox in red text, and on the right of it there is a red sphere, and inside it there are two white lines representing a letter X in white text. Here is the print version, the icon, the print version of the icon and the commercial. Xerox manages Ducati's global publications, so they don't have to. With Xerox, you're ready for real business. 2019 to the present, there is the word Xerox in red text. Here is the print version and the commercial. Part of our vision and strategy is creating this bridge into the next industrial revolution. This kind of an acceleration of technology to create wilder and wilder and more complex things in, with less effort. I really do believe that 3D printing has the ability to do that. I think you're going to be seeing Xerox out there more and more. I think we're going to surprise a lot of people. 
Okay guys, this is it for today. I really hope you liked it. Stay tuned for the episode 502 that is going to be about Breeseler, Bilt's YPAP, Sid8 Alerta and Mickey Mouse Funhouse. And also don't forget to join my Discord server and to subscribe to my channel so you can watch all my videos. I am Peter John, this is Logo History, and until the next video, bye.